And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Revitalizing Ledros. going to be our next deck. It's been a long time since we played this one. It's a pretty fun deck. It's you know going to be your uh, Freljord and Shadow Isles ramp deck. Now, Feel the Rush was a card that uh, came out really since the last time that we've played this deck that uh, a lot of people, whenever they're doing this ramp stuff, had just been going with that with Trundle, Trindamir, and Feel the Rush. But I always liked this version where it just focuses more on uh, Commander Ledros and Atrocity and winning games like that. Because that's a difficult top end to finish. Like, that's a that's a difficult win condition. Sorry, to stop. I, didn't, I don't know what I was saying. That's a difficult win condition to stop. And we have the Revitalizing Roar that also helps out because Revitalizing Roar plus Atrocity, of course, is 13 mana. So you do you do have the ability to play both of these in one turn. So that if your opponent like taps out or if they don't have any interaction for you, they could be at 20 life. And you can play Revitalizing Roar. You'll be enlightened. Um, you know, pick your Ledros, make it cost zero. And then you can play a zero mana Ledros and do half the damage to them. Um, to do like 10 damage to them and then atrocity to do another nine so i guess so they got to be at 19 so as long as they're at 19 or lower then uh you can have a one turn kill with that and of course they can be at one turn 19 by just like taking a little damage from a hapless aristocrat or an avarosan sentry or even an unspeakable horror that can do that as well the three babbling bjergs help us find ledros because our deck is all about comboing off with ledros so um that's what babbling bjergs in here to do and then of course besides that it's just um, Freljord Shadow Isles Control. All right, so let's go play five games in ranked. Let's see how we do with Commander Ledros. All right, we're playing against the burn deck. So we're gonna look for Avalanches and Withering Whales. Uh, we do not have Grasp of the Undying, unfortunately, which would be perfect for this matchup. We'll keep the Ruination though. Maybe we can survive until turn six and play that. So I'm not playing the hapless aristocrat right away so that maybe I can have that plus unspeakable horror. What's that noise? All right, like I want this to turn on my unspeakable horror. I'm going to try to try to wait as long as I can on the avalanche. Maybe I shouldn't have been so aggressive with Unspeakable Horror. Yeah, that, that might have been just a incorrect play. Time for the money makers. You have to get me out of here. So if I wasn't that if I would have just passed again and waited till the next turn, they play Draven, I play Um I play the Spiderling. I'm only looking at taking four if they go right to attacks. Because I could use Unspeakable Horror to do one damage to the Draven. Anything else? <laughs> okay, that's a lot more damage. A foray into the field? How exciting! I could Vengeance this turn, but if I Vengeance, I don't have Ruination next turn. Of course we can. The sun rock got me good. All right, they played something else, so we get to Avalanche. Of course, the card I do not want to see is Jinx. Still see far and clear. Watch and learn. Alright, no ruination yet still for next turn. We'll have eight mana. But I think that'll be okay. I have my orders. 
Legion Saboteur. Man, Unspeakable Horror is so good. See how this goes. Again, hopefully no jinx. That's kind of the, the real card they need is a jinx. It looks looks like that last card's jinx for how they've been playing it. Or it could be the augmented experimenter also. Okay, yeah. Definitely one of those. What science without a little risk? Alright, that was good for them. See if they go more wide. Alright, so that was their third get excited. So we don't have to worry about any more of those unless they're champion spells. Alright, well timed avalanche. Still, it's taking six if I just take this. Okay. So seven. But my experiments. We could probably take seven. Yeah, we can take seven. We should be good. Now next turn we'll be enlightened. We'll do the Roar Ledros. And we should be good. They're not going to draw something that does 5 damage burst speed. GG's. That was a, a lot easier on this side, <laughs> being on the Avalanche side, than uh, last time on the Demacia side. I should keep a second trundle. So it's pretty obvious what our plan is for turn three, turn four. Do we keep the second trundle? Uh, I'm going to. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we're one and zero. Got a winning record. I feel like ha all hapless aristocrat does is give them targets for Ezreal that I don't want them to have. Unfortunately, this matchup, I don't really want them to have either of those. But if they do use Thermogenic Beam or Vengeance or a card like that on this Trundle, we got a second one. Okay, we'll go Babbling Beard next turn. Oh, I guess I could have attacked for one, which can be important with Ledros. I have two Ledros in the deck and three Babbling Bjergs. Um, so there's only one more card for this Babbling Bjerg to draw. The trolls are going to war! Tilt over enforcer on the scene. I was worried about that. 
Yeah, I was worried about that. I tried being blind. I'll be happy if we don't draw a single other unit the rest of the game. Don't don't need any more. Just want only spells. So at least unspeakable horror is a spell. Don't blink or you'll miss me. Kind of. Right, I'm just gonna take this other lead, you know, get this other Ledros out of my deck before I just naturally draw the other Ledros. And then my babbling beard does nothing. Freeze. Isn't going great for me right now, but things can turn around. You gotta believe me. That's pretty good. Oh, go for you. I'm so good, I That's pretty myself. good. I guess I may as well just play this hapless aristocrat now. What's that noise? I guess. You don't need to worry about it helping Ezreal level up because that's all we we drew this game were units and they help the, that Ezreal level up. Come on, removal spells. The signal fires. Cool. You can take that. That one's not too bad. See if they have another, you know, Vi or Ezreal. Hopefully not. You know, especially if it's a Vi, you know, like maybe they have another like ten power Vi that could basically kill me. But I'm gonna take that risk. It's, it's not super likely. Calm mind and open heart. Greet the night. Come on, just stack or two. Time for a ah, another Ezreal. Okay, but the Ice Pillar will... We'll target the Ezreal. Charge. I have 11 mana. Am I going, you know, Trundle, Ledros, Eclipse Dragon? Trundle is the one I can Catalyst of Aeons also. You know, next turn, of course, we're going to have Revitalizing Roar plus Commander Ledros. I'll go Ledros. Yeah, our life total is pretty low. For Ezreal. A little lower now. But that lets me kill their Ezreal. Okay, that's good. So I got. Was that a glimmer of starlight I saw? All right, revitalizing roar. If they 
use like two mystic shots, then we got the catalyst of Aeons. Or the Withering Whale, we could do either one. Oh, no, I can't stop that. That's what I'm trying to do. Ledros Atrocity. Okay. They won't be the... They won't be able to be the ones doing Ledros Atrocity this time. Okay, I want Ramp. I know, like, Withering Will and Avalanche are, are good against Timer tokens. Sweet. But we need Ramp. Last game we had the... The three mana ramp unit, but they were able to kill it. Where are you? No, 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 no. 19. Yeah, we lost last game. My opponent uh, killed me with Ledros Atrocity. I tried to uh, revitalizing Roar and they responded with Atrocity. Yeah, Togrek, yep. Bask in her radiant blessing. It's a new channel point oh, option. There. 16. We're getting somewhere. Love the uh, double Solari Priestess start for them. Like, that's, that's a great start. You gotta believe me! Believe or burn. So I think that they want me to play something else, and then they play, you know, like, whatever with their Vi. Like, the, like they want me to play something, they were going to play Vi or Heimerdinger, like, last turn, so I'm just going to pass, go to my turn. I didn't want to play Battling Bjerg into that scenario. Man, they had triple Solari Priestess? Daylight oh, that's so great. So, uh, I guess I want to see Atrocities. Because... They can get the 6-mana Obliterate card, which obviously is perfect against Ledro, so we need ways to sacrifice our Ledro, so... I uh, definitely really want to draw Atrocity. One point of damage. We can take it. Each journey is a discovery. I'm just gonna kinda get a couple of cards out of my hand real quick. Lunari Priestess, Eclipse Dragon. Okay, so that, that five life is, of course, just going to go away in the Ledros. I'm going to have, like, the Withering Whale or Vile Feast that we can use for that. Don't need to necessarily do that right now. Hmm. 
Still have Obliterate available. Maybe they didn't get Obliterate. They have two Solari Priestess invokes that we don't know about. And one Star Shaping invoke, but of course, Star Shaping seven plus mana, they don't have the mana for that. Okay, one of them was Traveler. That isn't Obliterate. Now they see That's good. Truly am. Yeah, that's 10 cards, right? Yeah, that's 10. Oh. I could have been like a cool champion or something. All right, that Babbling Bjerg doesn't have anything to grab. Is this what you seek? Let's just do this before they obliterate. They could definitely have the nine mana obliterate. They have two travelers and one star shaping obliterate, so they could have the nine mana obliterate too. And so I don't want them to obliterate both lead dresses. Atrocity, where are you? <laughs> Heal an ally three. Yeah, Invoke decks, this is what I'm, I'm just going to be banning every Invoke deck whenever I play again, whenever I play uh, in the tournament next week. Invoke decks are pretty tough. Yay, Atrocity. Now all I need is Revitalizing Roar to make... Ledros uh, cost less mana. Those we care for reflect our love. So I can play Revitalizing Roar and Atrocity in the same turn. Oh, what's that noise? We can tell like they're keeping mana up for Obliterate. Out of the springs. Look out for Reavers. Still six mana. Five mana. Hold still now. It's not a five mana obliterate. I don't want to use Roar first and let them know about it. All right, so we're gonna go. We're going to uh, harsh wins these two. Go straight to attacks. Oh, I guess I can't. Oh, I don't have the banner for harsh wins and atrocity. I think that's my best play. Oh, oh no no no. Oh, these things can block anyway. Okay, never mind. That was harsh wins was not a good play. Okay, well. Um. Yeah, I think it's just attack. All right, GG's. So, Ledros Atrocity. That's how all these games are ending, but <laughs> one time my opponent had Ledros Atrocity, unfortunately. Okay. GG's. All right, playing against Fearsome. Vile Feast. This Vile Feast is good against the 4-1. 
Ooh, I like that card. Not very good against that card. Avalanche. If I can afford just to play, I was gonna afford be able to afford to play Ruination this next turn. Man, this deck's really impressive too. Six. What's that noise? I know what lurks in the shadows. cards over there. This is difficult. No. Hopefully it's something that blocks Fierce. Like, I would, would love that to be, like, a Doom Beast. Or even, like, the five-mana horse. Not a 2-3. Not a is good. I can't really imagine any way I survived this. Could have played... Could have played Ledros. Or see, so I, could, I mean, I could have played the Revitalizing Roar instead of the Vengeance. I guess I needed to do that. That was going to be tough, though. All right, got to play this matchup again. Unfortunately, hopefully... Okay, cool. We got Avalanche. That's definitely the most important card. Cool. I will take this hand. This is... This is better. This Avalanche matches up against Mist Wraith. Sentry 2, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Put a little bit of pressure on them. To maybe do some blocking eventually. Okay, we're turning into an aggro deck. Take turn 4 trundle. Look at us curving out. I must get out of here. And I just want my Avarosen Sentry and Hapless Aristocrat to just be in combat. Yes, 
like, I wouldn't mind if they blocked, basically. I just want them to, to do stuff in combat, whether they're blocking or not blocking. Yeah, that's just 10 damage. So this has the Spiderling dying. Uh, to, like, if I go like this, then Avalanche, my Spiderling dies, but it's... I don't want to lead with Unspeakable Horror. And we have to kill the Callista. Um, at the same time as the others. Fearsome decks are pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. No, I, I couldn't use Avalanche and then Horror after Avalanche because then the, the Callista would have leveled up and it would not have died to Unspeakable Horror. Because the Callista was at, was at 1 and so then killing the two Mistrace would level up Callista, so I couldn't do that. Harrowing? Oh, okay, yeah, I, okay, if I would've just put them both on the stack at the same time, yeah, I guess, I guess that could've worked. Sure. So do we need to... I'm guessing that, so like, I, I didn't change anything with this deck from when last time we played it, like, six... Seven, eight weeks ago, something like that. Do we need to change up stuff because of these fearsome decks? I guess that that's probably the case. Like these, um, these cards, like Vile Feast, Hapless Aristocrat, really looked useless in in these games because uh, not only were they not good against like the control deck, like your Ezreal decks um, of, of just kind of doing nothing, but then against the the uh, deck that we're facing with the aggro, like the aggro deck that we're facing with the fearsome. They were really useless there too. It did help. I mean, I guess they did help against the discard aggro. They were they were good there, but maybe need to change things because of that deck. Um, yeah, that that fearsome deck's just awesome. Troll scavenger wouldn't really work. We're not going to be be holding a plus cards that often. Like we have a couple, but you know, wouldn't be beholding them that often. Um, I, uh, a good blocker for them is this Ice Veil Archer. Like, that's a good blocker. And then also, like, Frostbiting is pretty nice. Um, I don't know, though. It's it's kind of tough. But, you know, like, so you can you play, like, your own things like that. Like, your Arachnoid Horror, Ice Veil Archer. Could even have, like, Bark Beast. As far as, like, re removal goes, like, the Frostbite cards are pretty good there. Like, Brittle Steel. You know, if you can have, like, blockers and Brittle Steel. Even some, like, Dead Bloom Wanderer. Is honestly like pretty nice, like Dead Bloom Wanderer, Doom Beast, but that's a that's the thing. We're like an Avalanche deck. I don't know. I think I need more. Um, it did kind of feel like I need like Grasp the Undying. Like that was that was like a card that that seemed like we should be playing in here. I know that that doesn't. Like this is something that like if they're not if they're not committing too many things to the board because they're playing around Ruination, just attacking with a couple of things, you can play Grasp the Undying during combat. Yeah, Trapper could be a good one. I have a Rosen Trapper. So I don't know. Maybe maybe uh, Kindly Tavern Keeper, of course. Oh, that forgot about that one too. That that's another good one. So there's good three mana options with Tavern Keeper, Doom Beast, Wanderer, have a Rosen Trapper. There's good three mana options. Weirding Stones wasn't really that great, and like turn turn four Trundle. My opponents kept on having like good answer to turn four Trundle. Trundle honestly wasn't really that spectacular so yeah maybe uh, maybe that's a way to go is not you know keep like unspeakable horror vile feast i like those two cards but maybe we just don't play aristocrat don't play new weirding stones we could still have like catalyst for a little bit of ramping but then you could have like five slots for just like some better th maybe it's just some better three mana cards maybe you play i'm not sure if i'd want ice veil archer that's that's the thing i'm not sure it's not bad though it's it's really not bad. Maybe you play like two Ice Veil Archer, three Kindly Tavern Keeper. Maybe just go with something like that. 
Because Ice Veil Archer can still be good against decks that are going bigger, right? Like, they have, like, a, a real big threat. It only costs two mana. You, like, they play whatever big threat, then then you Frostbite it. Yeah, the Archer does die to the Avalanche, but, I mean, you can you can play around that. Uh, Dark Water Scourge isn't very good. I would I'd rather play these other two cards over Dark Water Scourge. But there we go. So there's there's uh, some revitalizing Ledros. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of these changes. What do you think about playing Kindly Tavern Keeper and Ice Veil Archer in this kind of deck as like some some newer um, early defensive cards that uh, can still be used later um, and everything? Yeah, let me know what you think about those changes. All right, but but uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.